I'm Jeff Klein. I'm Melissa. <laughs> and uh, we co-directed, co-produced Pin Up Dolls on Ice. And Melissa also acted in the film. And Pin Up Dolls on Ice is the sequel to Bikini Girls on Ice, which was released a couple of years ago. And uh, Bikini Girls on Ice, the, the, the premise was this killer in a secluded gas station with a bunch of girls, and he kind of knocks them off. And that film kind of started out as a joke, evolved into something <laughs> a lot bigger than what we were ready for. So Pin Up Dolls on Ice is really our, our, our shot at making something that we knew people were going to see and then we knew we had to deliver all of the goods. Mm -hmm. um, and we took all the criticism from uh, the Bikini Girls on Ice film. Yeah, and all the reviews. We, all the reviews and, yeah. well, the criticism also because some people were really not happy about it. We took all of that into consideration and we teamed up with Michael Penny because Jeff wrote Bikini Girls on Ice and he's, he's not a writer. Well, I'm not a writer. <laughs> So Michael came in and showed us how the pacing should go and everything and um, Pin Up Dolls on Ice was born. Yeah. <laughs> if people start clapping every time a woman does something, then there's always going to be this kind of battle between the sexes and um, I mean I just, I just wanted to make a film about a bunch of girls dying. Um, that's why there's not many dudes in the film, it's mostly just girls and that's what I like. I like to see naked bloody girls run for their lives, that's what I like. So, it works I mean, out really well it works for me. Out well. I think the first draft, um, a lot of, I think I wrote some of the dialogue. Yeah. But you, you can always tell in a film when a guy writes girl mm -hmm. dialogue. Mm -hmm. it, there's just something off. To the guys, it sounds amazing, but the girls read it and they're I like, would never we don't say, talk like I would that. never say what he writes as yeah. a dialogue. Never, yeah. never. So, um, actually, most of the dialogues between the girls, besides the yelling and the crying, uh, is all ad lib. We wanted it to feel the energy between the girls, and I think that's why it's so believable that these the five pinups are a group of girls. That they're um, friends. And they're friends, and they hang that's out, and key. they just have fun. So we ad libbed most of the lines, and... I mean, obviously the dick jokes come out and all that stuff, but I mean, as girls, a bunch of girls that hang out together, that's what you'll get. Actually, Clay, uh, when we wrote the character, we want, I wanted it to be Jason Stackhouse from True Blood. I wanted it to be this hot guy that all the girls got with. And then when uh, Matt Popoff, who plays Clay, sent us his audition tape, I was like, what the hell is this? The thing is, though, is that the audition was just a shot from here up. Exactly. And it was a couple lines and it was outdoors, his audition was done outdoors, On he, he videotaped it, mm -hmm. so the sound wasn't the best, and he kind of did this thing, and we were like, okay. Well, that's fun, that's interesting. Yeah. Just for the record, whatever Clay looks like in the film is what he looks like in real life. So it yeah. makes it even more funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have to say that what fueled my fire personally was the reviews from Bikini Girls on Ice. <laughs> I honestly contacted every reviewer yes. that, even if they gave me a bad review, I contacted them and I said, dude, thanks for, for taking the time to watch the film. And then what we did was I printed up all of those reviews and I gave them to Mike Penning before we started writing the script. And I said, Mike, this is what everybody's saying. <laughs> Let's make sure when we screen Pin Up Dolls on Ice, they don't have the chance to say this stuff. So for me, when it came to the editing and the fast pace, I honestly approached every mm -hmm. scene thinking to myself, can a reviewer screw me on this mm -hmm. or, or attack me here? I wanted to make sure it was fast paced so that it was yeah. just a, a romp that, you know, before they knew it, boom, it was over and they yeah. didn't know what the hell hit them. In a minute, to those filmmakers I want to make it, stop complaining. Go ahead and make your film. Yeah. Stop saying you don't have money. Stop complaining. Just go ahead. There's yeah. banks. There's way to get money. And you don't have to do those Kickstarter type things. Just go ahead. Go to your bank. Get a loan. Get a credit card. And make your film. Yeah, Stop complaining. If, if you really want to make the film, mm -hmm. you, will, you won't find excuses not exactly. to make the film. If you really want to make your film, yeah. you're going to go fucking do your film. Exactly. It might suck. It might be amazing. Yeah. But at least you're going to do it. You're going to learn from it. And then the next one, yes. like us... You just make it better. That's all. New York City Horror, Horror Film Fuck, Festival. Fuck, let the bodies let the hit body the floor. <laughs> <laughs>